Okay, so we're now going to look at how to keyframe our blend shapes. And this process is very, very simple. All we have to do is open up our blend shape window and then hit the key button at a specific frame. So for example, I can set a key on frame one and then I can move to along to frame six, change the value of my slider and press key again. And now as I go through the time slider, you can see that the ball is deforming. Now what you will notice is that there's no key text in the timeline to show us exactly where this is actually happening okay or where the change is happening and that's normally what stumps a lot of new users to blend shapes and can confuse you because you're not entirely sure how you go about editing it okay. Now generally the best way to edit a blend shape once it's been keyed is to go into the graph editor and we'll have a little look at that in a wee second. However what you can also do is you can make your key text appear in the timeline by adjusting a few of the settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the timeline and this will be off your screen but if you scroll down there will be an option called display key text and this is the menu that will appear and this lets you choose how to display those key text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have the selected function and now if I move this to the side and I grab my mesh on the right hand side in the channel box you'll notice that under the inputs I have squash and stretch and that's where my blend shapes are kept. If I click on that and then select the stretch shape, okay, you'll notice it's got a key on it, you'll notice that the key ticks now appear in the timeline. All right. Now there is other ways that you can do this. You can decide that you want it to display active key ticks, okay, and then any object that is active you'll notice that it's put all of the key ticks in there okay and that's for the very basic animation that's on the ball however I actually prefer using the channel box function because it breaks up and it makes sure that I know exactly what key ticks are linked to what object now as I mentioned before the recommended way to adjust your keyframes for your blend shapes is to use the graph editor so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause the video and bring up the fully animated version of this bouncing ball and we're gonna have a look at how to get access to those keyframes in the graph editor. Okay so we're back and if I press the play button here you can see that we've got our fully animated bouncing ball with all the blend shapes. So if I stop that and rewind the timeline and I go up to window into my animation editors and choose graph editor and bring that up I'm just going to reposition the ball here a little bit just so that we can select it and if I close all these down by default this is what you'll see when you select your actual mesh, okay? Because that's just the standard keys that are making the ball go up and down. All right. Now, to get access to the blend shapes, all we need to do is open up the actual ball shape. Because the blend shapes are actually applied to the mesh, as you'll notice here, that's what Maya's telling you. This is part of the mesh deformer. That's where we're going to find the curves for our blend shapes, okay? And you can see that we've got our stretch shape and our squash shape and these can be edited in the exact same way as any other animation curve inside of Maya. Okay so in the next lesson we're going to be looking at a more complex example of how to use blend shapes and we're going to be creating a facial shape for a character.